Hi, my name is Kate Cayley and I'm the author of Lent, which is published by Book Hug and will be released in April of 2023. Lent is a collection of poems in four sections. Um, loosely speaking, it's about domestic life and the very, very tiny, sometimes crisis moments within domestic life, raising children especially. Um, it's about figures from history, uh, art monsters from history. Uh, it gives voice to the figures in the paintings of Dutch masters and looks at the wife of Ted Hughes following Sylvia Plath's death, who killed herself in the same manner in the late 60s, or Mary Shelley um, remembering the monster she created and imagining that the monster has come to visit her and asked her why. So it's ranging over a fairly broad territory and then ends in the final two sections with poems about what I think of as both the apocalypse that happens daily in private life when you hit a moment, you hit a snag, you hit a moment of thinking, I, I, I'm, I am at a loss, and our obsession with actual apocalypse, which is at a very high pitch right now, and then concludes with the title poem Lent, which is a long poem almost a essay in the form of a poem or a poem in the form of an essay that looks at religious faith and doubt and art and what these things mean. So I was inspired to write this book by all those different themes that were swirling around me at once um, and especially during the pandemic by thinking about okay so we're in this crisis point what do we want to remember what is lost what is not lost and I'm really excited for readers to meet this book, um, partly because when I started writing it, it happened for me at a time when I thought I couldn't write poetry anymore. I was so stuck. I thought, okay, that's done. I'm, um, and I was uh, pretty at a loss. And then suddenly it started happening. This is my first collection in six years. And I really had almost with some sadness given up and given over and then found it again. And I would love to share that with readers, that feeling of being able to rescue and commemorate something that is so small you almost can't define it, which is what I love about reading poetry. I feel like it's one of the most private and most uh, idiosyncratic experiences as a reader, where you're just visiting this odd, um, eccentric little snapshot of the world and thinking, oh, oh, I, I know that. I know what that feels like. That speaks to me. So I'm hoping that that is what it will feel like for a reader. And I hope that you will read it and invite you to do so. And you can pre-order it either through a uh, book hug directly or through whatever your favorite and most loved indie book story is. So please do. And now I'm going to read a short excerpt. This is a poem called Semi Lockdown from my collection Lent. Because poetry makes nothing happen, we sat by the river. We had been told to shelter in place, except for those who had no shelter. Silent, we sat by the river, which ran on. We were all in this together, but some more so than others. There will be stars in your crown. A saying frequently invoked by the woman who married my grandfather and placed great stock in obedience. She used to make a rubbing motion with her left fingers. She did not know this. She was viciously unselfconscious in most things. When she died, I inherited the gesture. This interested me, as I did not like her, and we were not blood relations. I am not related to my children by blood. This shows blood's comparative unimportance to love, though I am not related by blood to strangers, many of whom have no shelter, but this does not trouble my blood as much as I hoped it would when, younger, I thought of myself. This is not a new problem, the blood problem. Two of my children sleep late. One wakes early, dresses quietly, bikes out into the morning light. A poet reminds me that I am not hungry. I eat rapaciously and well into the evening. The river ran on. Sometimes my son does not get home until dark. The sky opens, beautiful as a bruise. 
I look out the skylight at the houses. My son returns, impatient with me. This is in some way an impatience with interpretation. He senses I wish to interpret him. When I hear him go, I practice. This is what I tell myself, that I am practicing. I am practicing letting him go. Thank you.